I am required through my work to get an annual wellness exam every year. I don't like needles, but I gotta suck it up at least once a year. I will go over my blood work results in this video. Hi, I'm Jeffrey, physical therapist, and welcome to Life of a PT. I definitely encourage everyone to get their blood work done at least once a year, even if it's not required. A lot can change in a year, and it's good to see if there's anything or any health issues that need to be addressed. It's good for preventative care, so you wanna prevent any issues from coming up. As a healthcare provider and where I work, we are required to have an annual exam once every year or else you pay like 600 bucks. So my doctor prefers that I get my blood work done first before I go in and see him. That way we can discuss the results in person. I've been with him for like three years now and it's been working well. He will usually order the standard tests like the lipid panel that looks at cholesterol and triglycerides, the CBC, complete blood count, and the comprehensive metabolic panel. So the lipid panel tests for the levels of triglyceride or cholesterol in your blood. So basically it tells you if you need to lay off the McDonald's. CBC can be used to check for infections, anemia, blood cancers, or any immune system diseases. The comprehensive metabolic panel checks for your kidney liver health, your blood glucose, your protein levels, your electrolyte fluid balances. Besides the typical tests that he usually orders, I also asked him to order this time around a vitamin D test because I have been experiencing more vertigo recently and there has been some association between low vitamin D levels and BPVV. As an adult, I still get a little bit nervous about getting my blood drawn. Usually my veins are pretty prominent, pretty noticeable, but for some reason, whenever I go get my blood work done, it goes into hiding. After I got it done, it wasn't too bad. I had to take a picture of the receipt from Quest Diagnostics because it was just criminal how much those tests cost without insurance. It was over $700 without insurance and I paid out of pocket about 60 bucks. So that's what I was responsible for. If you need any motivation to be healthier, just look at this picture. This is also why everyone should have health insurance and make lifestyle changes to be healthier so they can stay out of the hospitals. Now with that said, I do think that health insurance should be more affordable overall and they should definitely cover a lot more as well. Let's go over my results. So I got my blood work done on Saturday morning. So I was fasted before I went in and I got the results pretty fast. The next day through the Quest app, from the lipid panel, my cholesterol, my LDL cholesterol was a little bit high. It was 103 and normal range is less than 100. I gotta eat less fatty foods and eat more foods with fiber. In general, I have been doing that, but I think I'm still eating too much meat overall. I can cut down on some of my meat portions and eat more plant-based proteins. I am getting older as well, so I can't be eating the same as I was in my 20s. From the CBC test, my hematocrit was a little bit high, 51.5% and that's a little bit higher outside the range of the norm, which was 38.5 to 50%. The range they give does not account for gender differences. So for a male, on average, it can be up to 54%. So with that, I am within the norm. Since my other values are okay, my doctor just said I was probably a little bit dehydrated that morning before the blood draw. I wasn't used to drinking much water in the mornings, so I will definitely keep that in mind for next time. My vitamin D turned out to be within the normal range, even though it was on the lower end. My doctor did say I could supplement vitamin D if I wanted to around the unit of 1000 IU. He mentioned that my vertigo symptoms could be related to the allergies since my allergies have been pretty bad this season. I have been taking Claritin. I, I take Claritin once a day. And he said after for about a year, you can switch it up and switch to a different brand. Lastly, from the metabolic panel, my bilirubin levels was a little bit high as well. I'm at 1.4 and the normal range is 0.2 to 1.2. Bilirubin is the chemical that is produced when your body breaks down red blood cells. This could be the liver not clearing the bilirubin properly and may contribute to the formation of gallstones. My bilirubin levels have been high the past three years. It was like 1.5, 1.3, now 1.4. So my doctor did do more in-depth testing last year, and he said all my liver function and all the other 
values were good. He asked if I experienced any right upper quadrant pain, which could be from gallstones and after I eat any greasy food, um, but I haven't. Some people could just have higher bilirubin levels genetically. Lastly, I just want to say if you think your doctor may not be the best fit for you or they're not listening to your concerns, addressing them, then it's time to get a new doctor. My doctor before the one I have now would not order a lipid panel test for me because he said my cholesterol values from previous year was good so I could wait like two to five years before getting that done. But if I'm getting blood drawn and having a needle in me, I wanna make sure I get all the necessary tests done at once. You really have to advocate for your own health. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Click here to watch my blast vlog where I was in New York.